it's Tuesday, dark day at the track, our bright spot on a Tuesday trotter furlong, taking a look at Saratoga. How are you doing, sir? Glad to be back. Good weekend. Great weekend of racing. Well, it's, the season is really flying right by. We're moving right along here. We've had some great racing up to this point. Yeah, already the stage is being set for the Midsummer Derby, the Traverse Stakes. Some horses of note uh, that you're keeping an eye on. Uh, let's take a look at those. Uh, we had two big races this weekend. The Jim Dandy, the winner was Palace Malice uh, through the Pletcher Barn. And then Verrazano won the Haskell out at Monmouth. And he ran away. There was no one even on the page close to him for second. So kind of a runaway winner in that race. Is that another Pletcher horse? Another Pletcher horse. It, looks, it was a Pletcher weekend, which is kind of familiar. but Yeah. Uh, so those two horses we're looking at could be in the in the running for the. I kind of looked at the race. Verrazano, I think coming into the Travers is really a bet against for me. I don't think he wants to go a mile and quarter. His performance in the Haskell was so unbelievable. Everyone's going to jump on the bandwagon of his, and I'm not sold. So I think going into the Travers really a bet against for me. And then even with Palace Malice, he ran a nice race, but. I don't think he beat anybody. So I think a couple of people are looking to gear up for this Travers and, uh, you know, trying to look to try to beat both those horses. And with Pletcher, you're always getting a short price on him. So we look for value in racing. Too early to bet your, you know, who's... I mean, I've been an Orb fan since day one. Okay. I mean, I see how he's training up to the race. But, you know, Orb's made me a lot of money. I had a big future bet on him in the Derby. So, you know, you got to be loyal in this game. All right, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep an eye on Orb as we head towards the Midsummer Derby. Hey, you want to tell us about bridge jumping? Well, we had an example of it this week. Cowie Kate ran, opens up at 1 to 9, $200,000 in the show pool out of 250000 Guys trying to make a quick 5%, 10% off their money. She misses the board, and the show pool is astronomical. So what are you saying here? People put money on this horse hoping it's going to show. They think this is the lock of the year. Cowie yeah. Kate can't miss the board. I'm going to get 5% and Ira's got to give you back that 210. If I put my 50,000 on it, I'm going to collect and then my rebate with the Naira awards. And it's an easy way to pick up 5%. Unfortunately, there is no easy way in horse racing. So they went splat. <laughs> they lost their shirts on that one. Well, yeah, there, there, a tough bet. there is an easy way. Just watch here and get your picks. Uh, your picks from last week, pretty impressive showings. You know, I like winners, but in this game, the game's about making money. We had three horses that I gave out. All of them ran second. Okay. So if you're a win place better, uh, key them in exact is you made some money last week. And this game uh, is about making money. So, you know, we're going to... Take a crack at it this week, too. You, always, you, know, you don't always have to be in first place to make some cash. No, not, and especially up at Saratoga. You get uh, inflated odds on horses. I gave out a couple nice four-to-one shots. Like I said, if you keep them in some exactas, and even the place bet on them made some money. So I hope some of your followers put some money in their pocket, and we get to come back this week, and I got a couple nice price horses again that we can make some money on. All right, yeah, I haven't placed a bet yet on some of your picks, but we're going to take a look at this week, so I think this is the week to do it. Uh, let's take a look at the horses that Trotter has uh, for picks, Trotter's picks. Well, every week's the week to do it. I mean, I feel like I miss a day at the track. I, I, I'm missing out on money, you know. Yeah. So I, I like being over there. There's always a race that I can find value in. We'll start off with race three. I like us the number seven rare penny, four to one. Rosie is riding for Albert Stoll Jr. I think they've been a nice little hot group together. I mean, nice combination with those two. The horse is out of Pleasantly Perfect, and they meant to run the her, uh, horse first time turf. It got rained off. So I think they're bringing this horse back in a logical spot, and okay. I'm looking for this horse at four to one. All right, that's race three. We had to race five. Lavender Road, uh, the five horse, five to one, Junior Alvarado. It's a five-and-a-half furlong dirt race. The horse has been training great. Great workouts. There's a horse in the race that's three to one. It's second time out. Not really sold on the horse. The trainer doesn't have good numbers. Second time out. So I think we'll get our five to one on Lavender Road. That's a nice price up at this track. You know, I'm Scottish, so this is why I don't bet often, Trotter, because I want to fill my wallet. And this last one really is calling my name. This, this pick jumps out at me. It's 10 to 1 morning line. I think we're going to get every bit of it. It looks like 
Star Channel, the five horse is going to be Lone Speed. Luis Saez rode a horse the other day, wire to wire. I think he's a really good rider on the front end. And it looks like the race has a bunch of closers in it that are going to be over bet. And this horse, Star Channel, looks like the Lone Speed. I think Luis Saez can get him out on the front end and take these horses wire to wire. And 10 to 1 is a nice price. You put that money in your pocket and be a nice dinner. All right, 10 to 1 Star Channel. That's the one I'm going to bet on tomorrow. Uh, real quick, the first Whitney, uh, you know, the, uh, Mary Lou Whitney and her husband John Hendrickson, they're giving away 15 <laughs> grand. It's a each, lot of money, a lot of money. Each week for the rest of the Saratoga season, they announced the first guy to get his hands on that cash. His name's Kevin uh, Broccoli from Gansvort. Um, he's going to get $15,000 to wage on the Whitney Invitational Handicap, which is coming up this Saturday. Congratulations to him. Kind of took a look at the field. We have Fast Falcon going out for Nick Zito. Mucho Macho Man's running. Fort Larned. Uh, Cassaba, Alpha, Cross Traffic. Now, you're getting $15,000 to bet. Everyone thinks, let me put the 15000 on the favorite. I'll pick a quick two to one on my money. I think the favorite's going to be vulnerable in this race. Okay. I think you've got to look for a little value. Fort Lawn and Cross Traffic both have speed. I think the race sets up for a little closer. All right. I would take a shot with Fast Falcon. I think Nick Zito's always done well in the Whitney. He had commentator win twice. He kind of gears up for this race. The source has always been right there. He just hasn't had the pace scenario to close into. I think you're going to get a nice square price on him. Don't take the 15000 and think, let me just get two to one. Look for a little value in this race. Make a little score. Make a down payment on a house. That's what you've got to try to use this money for. And I think you'll get it with Fast Falcon. All right, Fast Falcon. Uh, if Kevin uh, Broccoli is watching, that's what he's got to do. Or he can fo follow me on Twitter. Follow you on Twitter. Your, your handle uh, we have, if we put your name up on the screen, right there. There, there we go. Trotter Furlong at Twitter.com. Or you can catch you right here on Tuesdays. I'll be here every Tuesday through the meet. All right, Trotter Furlong, thank you so much. We'll see you next Tuesday. And to see this and all our segments, head to the website. It's looktvonline.com.